All right, as per usual, there are technical difficulties, and the camera's not working. And I've had technical difficulties all day, so I'm going to roll without it, because I'm tired of solving problems, and we're here to play games. So, uh, we ball. Hopefully, I'll put up a little sound barrier, hopefully the noise doesn't come up too hot on the microphone, since I have both. 3D printers running in the background. It is the day after Thanksgiving, and as the holidays approach, I must create gifts. And speaking of gifts, if you're paying too much attention, you can hear in the background gifts being wrapped. But speaking of holidays and the Friday after Thanksgiving, it's Black Friday. By the time this video comes out, it won't be Black Friday anymore, and the sale won't apply. But, you should still go over and look at the uh, Nerdsmith Consolidated Etsy shop. Because they've got nerdy stuff to help with your desk, office, nerd space, whatever you need. And there's a lot more to be added. I have a lot of files for other things. I've just been an awfully busy guy and haven't gotten it all added. I did get some other... Oh no, my sound's not working. There we go. It took a second to catch up. I did get a bunch of other stuff organized slash figured out with... book people, so in the future there will be a big announcement for that. But, we're here to deal with Mass Effect, if Andromeda counts as Mass Effect. Forward Station Network Expanded. And the network established with the Nexus. So now, radiation levels. that means we gotta go back to the other spot to set up. The, the colony, right? We have to go set another beacon. as the place to start the colony. Downshift. And crawl up this hill. Now I would like to make fun of it for not having much traction. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Four gear ratios. What have you. But we also don't know... the uh, local gravity offhand. And the consistency of the local soil. So, you know, without more contextual data about the place, can't really give it uh, too much of a hard time, right? Didn't I uh, talk about driving through this tunnel? It's a nice tunnel. Cat ahead. They appear to be fighting a Krogan. Is that... Drac? Hey, Krogan. Boop. 
Alright, dismount. Guns up. Cora, get out of the way! God, I have the ice fist. Rider, about time you joined the party. Can't you crouch behind the rock? Now you can crouch behind the rock. Oh no, he's just gonna lay down. In uh, Mass Effect 3, they did a much That's better job with them. the uh, contextual cover so that you knew when you were and were not in cover. The cats ahead. They appear to be fighting a Kroger. Is that... Drac? Radiation levels normal. Dismount. Thank you. Guns up. And we'll get... The bad guys here in a crossfire. Shots does it take? Save some for me, old man. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't all Krogan be old men to to this tiny human? Good one. I said Zappa. Also not what I wanted. Change guns. Normally you press two to go from the big gun to the little gun. This Mass Effect getting me in trouble because the controls are weird. Sniper rifle receiver. Oh. I thought there's time to loot. There's still time to gather. That's an ugly gun. Fun. You're telling me? <laughs> you could really handle yourself, kid. And I hear you're the one to thank for clearing up the sky. Had your number all wrong. You're not so bad yourself, old man. Maybe we should work together after all. This fight was pretty good, but you're still Nexus and green as a drill. Green as a drill. Got potential. Be ashamed to waste that. I'm in. <laughs> Just point me to your ship and try to keep up. Typical NPC this is jargon. Great. Something tells me you've got potential. Pedromos. Location discovered. I'm activating this beacon, and all the stuff is gone. All the cover, this the barriers, is where we'll and such. New outpost. A real beginning. Prepping deployment order. You must choose what purpose this, this kid needs to shave. The Nexus doesn't get a say. Resources are either that or grow a real beard. Protocol states this judgment call falls to the Pathfinder. 
With current supplies, you can build a military outpost, focusing on defense and militia training. Alternatively, a scientific outpost could advance the initiative's research and discoveries. What do you think? Military outpost or scientific? Pathfinder's call. But research is no good if we're dead. Military. It's got to be science. Our colonists need to understand their home. Be advised that the first outpost placed by a Pathfinder will be a statement in itself. Fair or not, your choice will represent the initiative and its intentions in Andromeda. Consider carefully. I've got like three different things going on in my head at once. So, uh, I won't tell you. I will simplify. Prioritize research and discovery. That's our foundation. Sure, the aliens and are bad. Future. And we prepped. need Ready on your signal. military defense. But, like you said, it is the future. The science. The technology. The technology to provide that military defense. Andromeda Initiative, this is Ryder. Pathfinder. EOS is ready for deployment. We gotta have... You know, the, the... Outpost blocked inbound. And ready as hell. That guy felt really low poly for some reason. You gotta have... Agriculture. The... August Brett. Industry. Operational head for this block. Mayor now, I suppose. We're ready to make the most of what you delivered. The... That's what I'm looking for. Infrastructure. In order to support that military setup. It took a lot of people to get us this far. That's the work you'll continue. I hear that. Brodromos. That's what we're calling them. They're eager. I haven't seen eager for months. Eos is far from golden, but now it's she a producer, so stiff. a real and reasonable first step. They think you did the impossible. Is her neck like fused? The nexus. She has some I fused vertebrae them, in her neck. Irresponsible. You proved me wrong, Pathfinder. I don't I like either of those options. Candor. We're all on the same side. I wouldn't go that far. Oh. Well, this far away from home, trying to build colonies. The reality like, rider? There is a you bought room us time. But one outpost on a long shot argument. planet won't stop us from starving. We should have shot her right there. You already have a lead on something else? The nav point from the vault. Now it gets complicated. The others are ready to officially sanction your efforts, to be a part of your success. We all want the initiative to succeed, but after failing for so long, no one agrees on how to do it. Be aware, that's all. The others are willing to sanction your efforts, to be a part of your success. Of course they're willing to come in after you've killed the evil aliens and terraform the planet overnight. They want part of the credit. Even if their credit is, yeah, I approve of that guy's actions. The action's already done. It doesn't matter if they approve or not. Nobody cares. Arguing is pointless. It doesn't matter. We didn't come to a new galaxy to argue about who's right. I got us this far. Talk to Bradley. Later, we'll go over the extended job of Pathfinder. Until then. Hands waiting on the Nexus. Just trying to put the gun away. Ugh. All the way down there? Why'd they make us come all the way up here? Ah, screw that. I don't have to walk. We got jump jets. And 
that's why we're pathfinding. Oh, they moved the ship. It's an awful lot of junk set up in the amount of time it took to walk up there and talk. What's in here? You nosy. He's already got a sleeping bag rolled out. We're walking out. Sorry, I came to this pathfinder. Came to what? Turian's got a headache. Must be a change in air pressure. Two, four, six beds and a couch. Three beds, three sleeping bags on the floor, and a couch. Yeah, they're roughing it all right. Bounce, it's up here. More people? What's this guy's deal? No veteran yet. Somebody standing around. Pathfinder. Jacob Mitney. Pathfinder. Jacob Mitney, research and development. My team's just getting set up here, but we've made a discovery you might want to check out. All ears. We've put together a blueprint for augmenting your armor plating. Uploading it now. If you can collect the necessary resources from around EOS, it should work. Is this a sure thing, Mitney? Or just a sure science guy? I have no interest in wasting your time. This could form the basis for armor production across the initiative. Scratch safely, Pathfinder. And he's just gonna stand there. better like head out and shut up so that night shift here can sleep. Yep. Stealing their Omni Joe. You just stand on the guy as he's sleeping in a sleeping bag. Way to go there. Plot officer. Nope. Can't talk to her. Button no working. Guys, it's dark in here. <sighs> Derek Tyrvian. Steal my loot, I don't buy it. There's a glowy thing. A 
another eidetic trigger, Sam? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. Talk Mayor to Bradley. Mayor. Pathfinder, good to see you. We're busy as anything, thanks to you. Bit dusty, but we can adapt. It's worth it when it's your own. Make sure to keep a clear log of what you're doing. Well, let's save some bandwidth. Busted ass to feed initiative. Copy, paste, repeat. You go do what you need to on the Nexus. Follow that dot. There will be more to do on EOS later. Some key positions, Connor Supply, Ramirez Medical, Abram Science, Falks Engineering. With them and my major domo, we won't end up like Site 1 and 2. Yeah, they tried, man. I combed the first two outpost attempts. Those people died trying. And they deserved better from the Nexus. That's where I point the finger. We'll remember. You changed this planet. But that doesn't make it easy. We'll use the efforts of those who went before. Good people, every last one. I'd have been honored to fail with any of them. Looking back isn't a good use of time. We have to keep building. That's keep is no. generous. What we have to, to say. start. Real building, not just surviving. Oh, and Pathfinder, this is for you. It's our flag. Hang it where the Nexus can see. It's touched the soil of our first outpost in Andromeda. Make it real. Gonna leave? Alright. And we're stuck. Alright, I gotta go do something exciting. Really hope all those scientists will be safe out here. We came to explore and learn. That's who we are. I keep wondering what our scientists will cook up for eels. Well, they're just gonna lean on the guardrails, apparently. the stuff in the water. It's just there. I didn't bother hiding it or burying it or this is shoddy just sticking down into the water like that. And by shoddy I mean like the animation, like the game's not done. It would not have been hard to make that better looking. And being the first colony, like, probably should have? What are you staggering around for? Are you drunk on the first day of the new colony? Yep. That woman can hardly stand. Bootleg moonshine, whatever they're brewing. Go. Wonder if they have to pay taxes. It's not shine if you're paying taxes. Come on, loading screen. So the trend with Mass Effect and Drama. Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? This isn't a military vessel, but there need to be rules. Better to ask about protocol. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the Remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning a number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. 
You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? <laughs> Fair enough. Let's focus. Back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots, just to be clear. It's hard to do anything without the so logistics to support us, it. Rider? Let's be kind and give each other the benefit of the doubt. Finding a home for tens of thousands in this hellscape is stressful enough without adding dysfunction. You got it, boss. You know, has got her snooty, you know, nose in the air. Krogan are known for one thing, it's getting along. But not humility or self-awareness. Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drax, see Lexi for a physical. Good meeting, everyone. Completely ignoring him. As I was going to say, the trend seems to be with this game that we're just making fun of how bad of a game it is and not so much of how bad the science is. Since it doesn't really have anything new or different, you know, groundbreaking in relation to uh, the previous Mass Effect games, science-wise. Hey, can you drop by the bio lab? Tech-wise. Nice place you found. Clean air, plants, helps me think. Something on your mind? Maybe. Okay. What the hell was that? I know that look. It's just my biotics reacting to all this. I don't normally lose it like that. A huntress should have better control. Here we go. Huntress? Another term for an Asari commando. I was one before the initiative. Some things stick, though, like losing the old man. You were a second in command. Were you friends, too? He was more a mentor than a friend. Prickly old bastard. But I respected that. People treat geniuses like they're made of cut glass. I didn't care how smart he was. I think he liked someone not caring. That is a fair point. There's a lot of loss going around. Dad, the Golden Worlds. A friend and mentor who trained you to be a Pathfinder. I said I wouldn't get in the way, and I meant it. But I prepped for years as your above. father's second. Then he chooses you, an untrained Pathfinder, and all this mess to fix? What the hell was he thinking? Yeah, is this going to be again. a problem, Cora? I don't want a rival. Just answers. It, it's done. Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. Then maybe we'll all get what we came out here for. <laughs> That's... What did you, uh... So what brought you out to Andromeda? Biotics like this. Thinking like an Asari huntress. I never had a place. Best I could be was a useful freak. The initiative was meant to be different will be different if this mission succeeds. So she thinks she's in a sorry. She's like through. one of those people that thinks they're cats. It's quiet in here. I can keep the plants watered while I work. First job, see if there's any news on the Asari Ark. If they made it, we could use some Asari expertise. If you want to talk, I'll be here. She seems more concerned about the Asari than uh, the people that are already here. We can't help them until they get here. Why, what was the point of that conversation? Like, besides trying to throw shade at you for an unearned promotion, we like... We haven't really spoken since orientation, have we? It's all been so hectic. So I'm what? I'm sure things will quiet down soon. Can't be worse than the Nexus. I never really got to know these characters. Let's have a conversation. Make it boring. Scans of the Scourge. 
All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. It's dangerous. And that's all I see. A mass of destructive, malevolent tentacles. I can appreciate the colors of a coral snake while recognizing that I wouldn't want to get close. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. Well, a it is reminder a different of the galaxy. divine intelligence behind all creation. Divine intelligence. All right. You mean a god? Yes. I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd, but I am a scientist because science brings me closer to something greater than myself. And here we are again, stuck in a black and white answer. Like, I have to say yes, I agree, or no, I don't agree. I can't just say, alright, whatever, you do you. So, I guess... For the sake of team building and unit cohesion, we'll play for the nice answer. coming face to face with something wondrous that makes you want to believe. Wow. It's wonderful to meet someone who understands. I've had to justify myself so often. As if having faith in the divine invalidated my work as a scientist. It's as if the sacred could be diminished by the search for truth. Fair point. It's good to have different voices on my team. I like that. Excellent. Oh, speaking of the team, I should update the folks back in the Nexus with the latest reports. We'll talk later. Alrighty then. Emails I'm not gonna look at. You all knew that before. Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector. That's probably smart. Ah, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? You mentioned something about helping design the Tempest. Test pilot, mostly. Plunging through the Nemean Abyss was almost a preparation for the Scourge. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? Is we it a Philip screw a on the collar of his shirt? Potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. Look at that. I know it's supposed to be a button, and that's a little cross stitch on the button to go over there. But it's so poorly animated, it looks like a freaking Phillips screw. I like the Tempest, but I'm not sure I'd travel between galaxies for her. The Unknown Frontier had its charms, too. It's just strange not having the rest of the design team. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations, tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Solarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. Though I suppose with the Solarian art missing, you might not get many chances to compare. Did you hear anything about the Ark back in the Nexus? Not a peep. Isn't that strange? You'd think there'd be something. Not that I dislike your company, but it's lonely without other Solarians. <laughs> Cheer up, Callo. We'll always have Director Tan. That snide little bureaucrat? All the more reason to find the others. I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time. Well, he's nice. You're setting up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice, out-of-the-way place where I can tinker, and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least. Not sticking around, then, eh? Should I consider you a temporary addition? 
Everything's temporary, Ryder. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana. To simple but loving parents, just trying to... I look forward, not back, Ryder. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field, while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning back home. Tackling complete strangers in the Milky Way wasn't doing it for you? I think tackling you anywhere would be fun. <gasps> Did I say that out loud? Life won't be boring with you around. Uh -oh. I may never yawn again. I see where that went. Maybe you just needed more sleep? We were out for 600 years. A special someone made the trip with me, and she woke up a different person. I've slept enough. Ryder, the Milky Way was so... been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never been done. Alright. Well, congratulate yourself. No one has ever so successfully dodged my attempts to get to know them. Yes! I'm number one! Find me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. Then again... I need remnant scrap. Remtech. She even old it. enough to drink? Projects like the one I, mentioned. I mean, obviously Which she's an adult. Kind of Sorry I lived forever. Five. It's a whole different thing. But... Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your She questions. doesn't feel old enough to drink. Remtech, huh? You know? You got it. All right. Who else can we yak at? I don't want to yak at other people. Let's go do something more exciting. Fly a spaceship. Done what we can here. Hundo percent, it says. Ericsson and Pfeiffer, hundred percent. And it's not going to let us go anywhere else. So back to the Nexus. At zero. So I'm picking up something. Let's scan it. This thing. Launching a probe. probe. I find something. Ooh, element zero. Found us a fancy asteroid. Not even a rock. It's just element zero out there by itself. In the void. Let's scan all this junk and call it an episode because we know once we land on the Nexus, it's gonna be boring and there's gonna be a lot of talking and we won't get to shoot any aliens. Scanner. Nothing to scan. Ninety-four point seven ninety-eight AUs. It's a long orbital period. Hydrogen methane gas giant. Makes it useful as coal discharge. Building helium three processing in the future. Away we go. To someplace else. I wonder what the average number of planets is for a solar system. It seems like the more we look, the more planets we find in ours. We've got, what, six, seven dwarf planets now? I'm 
picking up something. <gasps> we get to scan it. And then and then I've got to probe it. Oh. Deploying probe. Detecting what's left of a ship. What's left of a ship? Carry it to? Reported missing, presumed loss, heavily damaged and adrift, but salvageable. Scourge related incident. That's pretty. Twenty nine and a quarter AU, eighteen fifty five Celsius. It's Crushing nitrogen carbon dioxide atmosphere. Evidence suggests its icy rings once a small comet. Yeah, 1855 Celsius. It's n it's it's more than hot. I'll, I'll put it that way. I have an app. Let me convert some temperatures real quick while our spaceship zips around the solar system. Celsius. It's 3,300 degrees Fahrenheit. The volcano recently erupted. Oh. Strong gravity. 3.2 G. Yeah, we don't want to live there. Strong gravity has restricted lava flows. I guess that could be a topic for research. I'm not sure what we would learn from it. But dumb science geeks will always come up with something uh, more to learn from something seemingly trivial than you would expect. Alright, let's have us a landing. And I'll save. We'll call it an episode. See you in the future. I guess I'll get back to my seemingly endless troubleshooting today to get my camera working again. I know in the uh, previous video I said that I purchased all of the MechWarrior 5 DLC and was going to start a playthrough of that, and I tried to install some basic mods, adding just basically just to add some more mechs is all I was doing. Is it true? We're settling EOS. We thought that before. But EOS is different now, right? Pathfinder. All right, settle down. Give him space. Lieutenant Mech Sia warrior ain't working. His aid. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. Good day to party, eh? That is a more appropriate answer. I'm just bad I'm just path doing my job. Again. This is what we do. And you've done it splendidly. Professor Herrick, right? What you achieved with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. Ooh, that is but fair. new scientific talent waking up will unravel those mysteries. The whole nexus will benefit. Indeed. We've taken some hard knocks, but this proves we'll always get up again. Always. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder. Oh, the lines are so cheesy. You're missing out on all those, you know, Brave New World of Heinlein references. Anyway. Saving the game. 
See you all in the next one. We can make fun of Mafia. It's so bad I can't even talk about it. I'll see you in the next video so we can make fun of Mass Effect Andromeda some more. Party hardy.